So, the 8 foot Morangan Disc Mower MDM 245, we're selling it. Uh, it's not fully my decision, but I'm happy to go along with it and try something a bit different anyway. So I'm going to do a bit of a review after owning it for a year, year and a half, and uh, using it for about two seasons of hay and silage. We didn't do any hay this year, but did a bit of hay and a good bit of silage last year, as well as this year. I said I'd do this video before your man comes and picks it up. Um, lad coming from Kerry to look at it, and I'm fairly sure he's going to take it away with him. So that's the story there. As I said, we cut uh, hay and silage with it. For the hay, grand job, obviously. It is, it is perfect for that disc mower, no conditioner or that. Um, just fly through it. And we had a heavy crop of silage this year. We didn't have such heavy meadows last year, but we had a heavy crop this year, and it absolutely just minced through it, as you saw. On the back of the case 4230, it was just purring as well. There was It was a good match on that tractor. I have it here on the John Deere just for your man to test it and I did a bit of topping on the front field with it there as well. But as the regular viewers of the channel saw, she was always on the case 4230 and it ran perfectly behind that tractor. Um, great setup and we haven't done any silage since swapping tractors. So we never got a test on the John Deere. So we're getting rid of it to just get a conditioner more. We traded our last mower in, it was a small five and a half foot uh, drum mower and we traded traded in for this and this was a big improvement uh, without a doubt. I love this mower anyway but big improvement on the drum mower. We had a lot of issues with that drum mower and just absolutely nothing going wrong. With this yoke it just hops over the hops over the shallow stones and um, Whereas the drum mower would have shattered to pieces, the shaft and everything. But that's down to the quality and everything. Oh, that's down to the quality of the make and blah, 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 blah. But that's down to the quality again. The last yoke was a mescarole. Um, but yeah, look, we've... But yeah... Anyway, yeah, she was a massive improvement on the drum mower. Uh, the time you can cut as well with the extra foot and a half or whatever it is, two foot, you just mince through the meadows. The eight foot is the perfect size for us. I don't think you'd really need a ten foot. It wouldn't make much difference. You cut the meadows fairly quick with an eight foot. So we're just looking to get a conditioner mower with a disc, um, a disc mower with a conditioner on it, sorry. And I'll be getting a trail yoke, probably an old John Deere mower. No need to have something as new as this for the little amount of silage that we're doing at the minute. Might be doing more in the future, but look, that doesn't matter for the time being. You can see, you can see how little we've done. The the paint is barely wearing off the welds there. It is a brand new machine, good as new, so it is. We'd have to be investing in big tethers and rakes if we wanted to make this thing more viable in terms of getting the silage ready in an appropriate time without the hay bobber. And I don't want to go down that route at all. Uh, I would if I had the money obviously, but it's just, there's, there's no real need of it unless you're doing a lot of hay or that. The conditioner mower is tried and tested in this country especially, everyone has them. So yeah, we'll probably get a John Deere trail conditioner mower. Um, some older yoke and that'd be perfect for us I think it would the trail mower has a lot of advantages uh, the ones I'm looking at anyway some of the newer trail mowers are still attaching to the three-point linkage or the two lower link arms but um, I'm looking for one that will just attach to the pickup hitch or the hitch and then you're just attaching your PTO and your pipes and you can hook up in whatever five or ten minutes and you're good to go no checking the stabilizers or tightening anything up, setting that up. You're um you're ready to go off and um and chop a few acres of grass. Oftentimes if you if you start attaching the mower wrong, if you back in the wrong way or if you're at a slight angle with the tractor, you could be you could be there for half an hour messing around and um you know, getting nowhere. 
and I've heard from other lads online and, and that in the comments um, that that's probably the worst issue with the Merengan or the only issue with the Merengan is hooking it up but really once you get the hang of it it's it's no bother I was told and I, f and I found this myself to be true that if you hook up this right one from the back of it first because it's always a bit lower um, and then you hook up your pipe and then you tilt up the frame with with the ram and then you lift up your stand like it is there and then you can tilt the ram back and level this off and get this link arm in that's the best way to hook it up then obviously put your top link on it's not the worst it's not the horrible thing to set up a lot of, a lot of yokes with three point linkage can can take a bit of fiddling by no means would that put me off uh, this more it's just it is something to consider um, when looking at other things it does take a while to hook up sometimes but once it's on it's fantastic more didn't ever let me down cut every blade of grass uh, that I that I drove over you know it was cut very bare it just it, it performed well in that way I'm not fully sure but I'm 99% sure that it has a comber bed in it um, I think I was told that by the salesman we bought it from and I've seen that online but I think it's a bit disputed but if anyone knows more details on that if that is that's a comber bed or not um, I would like to find out just just to be curious on that one blades never had to change one so I couldn't tell you how hard that is they're just held in with a bolt so it's not not the worst job it's like many many other mowers as well you have your swart plates and they do make a fine job of uh, putting it into a bit of a bit of a swart but obviously you'd have to come come along behind that and tet it or rake it into uh, bigger rows with a bigger rake the galvanized frame is a great job as well no worry of that ever rusting on you or um, you know being caked up with grass and and uh, getting wet and all that and rusting out so bit of security in the galvanized frame it's it's a it's a well-made machine um, you have your single you have your ram there for lifting it up and down and you lock it into place there when it's up um, and you lock it into place there when it's up uh, and you're transporting it on the road just to make sure it doesn't flop down and you know into something else so that's about all fantastic more I am a bit I'm a bit unsure I'm a bit unsure about getting rid of it but the decision is made I have this more half sold should be sold today I'm going to take the money that I get from the sale and put it towards obviously another more some second hand trail yoke as I said I'll be scouring done deal and the rest of the money might go towards some other bits of kit um, it'll go back into the farm anyway is what I'm thinking let me know if you have a Morangan mower um, you might you might have some other things to say about it or you might agree with me on the things I've said today but but I'll leave it at that and I'll soon be showing you the replacement mower as well.